Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Unfog with Dr. Atahar Parvin. In this session, we are going to discuss what is the syllabus for GPSTR examination. Actually, we have a paper 1 and paper 2, but in this session, we will be discussing only paper 2 syllabus. Okay, so if you want paper 1 syllabus, please do write in the comment section. We will make another discussion video on it. Right now, we will focus on paper 2 syllabus for both PM and CB method aspirants. Now this video is going to be a very interesting video because uh, I will not only just tell you the syllabus of uh, your GPSTR exam but also I have uh, uh, made one uh, sort of a blueprint for both PM and uh, CB method aspirants because you all have same syllabus but you don't have same question paper, right? So that's why to prioritize the uh, the subjects and uh, uh, tell you what type of paper will be there for uh, PM aspirants and what type of paper will be there for CB aspirants. We have analyzed uh, previous year question papers and we have made a very nice uh, sort of a blueprint and a, a good analysis. I will be giving you that in the later part of this class. So in order to understand everything about GPSTR paper 2 syllabus, you will have to watch this class till the end. Even if you are a PM aspirant, this video is for you. And if you are a CV aspirant, then also this video is made for you. Okay. So this is the syllabus uh, PDF file. And this is in Kannada. Let me go for uh, English language syllabus. Mm, this is the one. Let's start with the uh, mathematics syllabus see friends uh, as i have been telling to you right from the uh, first discussion video of gpstr both the cb method aspirants and pm method aspirants should prepare for maths and science and science includes physics chemistry and biology okay so that is how the exam pattern is there for gpstr okay so if you have uh, not watched my previous videos on exam pattern please do watch the uh, video especially on exam pattern you can find the video by following the playlist of this class okay so talking about maths syllabus in mathematics you need to prepare for number system real numbers sets progression commercial mathematics statistics permutation and combination probability basic concepts of algebra polynomials linear equations exponents then quadratic equations and basic geometric ideas then triangles quadrilaterals polygons circles mensuration trigonometry coordinate geometry symmetry and matrices okay so this is the full mathematics syllabus for GPSTR for both PM and CB method aspirants. Okay. So this is the syllabus we are also following in order uh, in our GPSTR course which is to be uh, starting from December 1st. Okay. So if you have watched our previous class uh, uh, you will have seen the duration of the course and uh, you can also see the schedule of the course. You will get the link uh, below this video. Okay, in the comment section also you will get it. Uh. So this is the syllabus for mathematics and uh, both uh, PM and CB aspirants should prepare for these topics. Okay, they have given ref reference books also. Uh, they say that uh, NCRT class 6th to 12th textbooks uh, or Karnataka board textbook for class 6th to 12th. Okay. So, all these syllabus is covered in those textbooks, okay? Then moving on to uh, science uh, syllabus. I will go for the English language part. Uh, and this is the one. See, this is for uh, both mathematics and science teacher. That is PM method and biological science teacher. That is a CB method aspirants, okay? Uh, now, this is a physics syllabus. In physics syllabus, we have measurements and units, magnetism, electricity, dynamics, gravitation, heat, optics, sound and universe. Okay, so this must is for physics. 
and uh, talking about chemistry we have structure of atom classification of elements chemical bonds electronic configuration and molecular behavior matter chemical reactions acids bases and salts carbon and its compounds metals and non metals chemical properties solution chemicals in our daily life then talking about biology syllabus uh, they have given living world life process in plants reaching the age of adolescence life process in animals natural resources ecology soil erosion meaning pollution water greenhouse effect ecosystem cytology classification of organisms evolution human evolution microorganisms tissues genetics and animal resources okay and uh, list of books uh, they have not given in english they have given directly in kannada only anyway i will tell you the meaning uh, list of suggested books karnataka rajya patya pustaka mandaliya arane rinda 12 ne taragatiya patya pustakagalu 6 rinda 12 ne taragatiya ncert patya pustakagalu millennium samanya adhyayana 2022 h rk so one so they are telling about uh, 6th to 12th uh, ncrt or karnataka government textbooks another they are telling about uh, millennium general studies uh, hrk book uh, they are giving year 2022 but now you should be reading for year 2023 okay because this syllabus we have taken from uh, previous that is a 2022 gpstr uh, details okay so this was all uh, syllabus of uh, PCMB. Now we have done something very interesting. We have made differences between PM and CB method question paper. As the syllabus is same, but we need to prioritize the subjects right. As I have been telling in the previous videos also, that maths will be more in PM method question paper and biology will be more in a CB method question paper. So, maths will be less when compared to PM method question paper. But what does it actually mean? So, I thought that few aspirants might have get confused with this statement that maths will be more and maths will be less. So, we have analyzed 2022 question paper of GPSTR for both PM and CB method aspirants and then we have made this sort of a exam pattern plot for both the pm and cb method aspirant question papers okay so let us see how it is first though uh, mcqs will be there right that will be for uh, one mark and they will be 50 questions right so in that 50 questions for pm method question paper that is a mathematics science teacher question paper we have a 21 maths questions among 50 okay and uh, rest all questions are from science okay so rest all questions means 29 questions from science and 21 maths questions are there okay this is for pm question paper but in cb question paper you can see that only eight maths questions are there and rest all 42 questions are from science okay so in that uh, few questions are from methodology also okay maths methodology questions they are asking for both uh, pm and cb uh, aspirants okay now my concern here is though there are only eight maths questions for cb aspirants cb aspirants should learn maths anyway right Either they are asking 8 questions or they are asking 21 questions. You need to learn mathematics. You need to practice problems. Then only you will be able to answer those 8 questions also, right? So, that is my concern. Okay. Now, this was about MCQ's question, uh, question part. Okay. Next, uh, as per the GPSTR exam pattern, we will have descriptive part, right? So, in descriptive part, you will have a first portion for... Uh, two marks eight questions will be there uh, and each question will carry two marks 
here for pm method aspirants they have asked only maths questions okay i'm talking about 2022 question paper they have asked only maths questions in two mark questions whereas for cb aspirants they have asked five science questions and three maths questions okay so either three maths questions or eight maths questions you need to uh, practice mathematics because if you want to give correct answers for maths then that is the only way right and if you don't give correct answer for maths then you will not be in competition right if you want this job you should learn mathematics okay that is uh, the main uh, point which i am trying to tell you is especially for cb aspirants you have to learn mathematics you don't have any other option okay the same way for PM method aspirants, you have to learn biology, you have to learn chemistry. There is no other option because from 50 questions in MCQs, 29 questions are from science. In that also they will divide. Okay, maybe 9 will be from uh, uh, chemistry, 10 will be from biology, 9 will be from physics. So you have to learn, right? There is no other option. You can't run away from the subjects which you don't want to learn. You don't have any other choice for GPSTR. Okay. Next, uh, three mark questions. You will have 24 three marks questions. For PM aspirants, among 24, 12 questions are from mathematics and 12 questions are from science. Whereas for CB aspirants, five questions are from mathematics and rest 19 questions are from science. Okay. So, CB aspirants should note a point that when I say that 19 questions are from science, in that uh, around 7 to 8 questions will be from physics also. Okay. So, CB method aspirants should read physics, should prepare for physics. You cannot run away. If you want to get this job of GPSTR, you have to prepare for physics and maths both. Okay. Like that only PM method aspirants, if you want this job, you have to prepare for chemistry and biology along with physics and maths okay so next part of uh, questions will be for uh, four marks there will be three questions three questions will be there and each question will carry four marks okay here for pm and cb aspirants they have asked only science questions in uh, four marks uh, portion okay so they have not asked any mathematics question okay in four marks okay so this is the plot which i have prepared by analyzing your pm and cb gpstr 2022 question paper okay so if you want to prepare for gpstr then you have to be careful with this pattern now let's talk about our gpstr paid course you will get the link of that uh, document where in list of classes and uh, fee structure and everything is written so that link you will get below this video or uh, in the comment section okay and if you have any doubt you can please mail us at other tet hstr courses at the rate gmail.com or if you are interested you can write to us in whatsapp or we have a telegram channel and telegram group the link will be given below this video so i really hope that uh, the information which I gave in this session helped you with the GPSTR exam pattern. Still, what type of doubts you have regarding GPSTR? If you let me know in the comment section or in the telegram group, I will try to make videos and clear your doubts.